Iodine-123 is a radioisotope of iodine, which can be used to diagnose thyroid cancer. The nucleus of iodine-123 is unstable as it has extra neutrons in the nucleus. It decays because it is unable to overcome the strong nuclear force that holds the protons and neutrons together. As it decays, it releases gamma radiation. Gamma radiation is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It travels the same as the speed of light and has high energy. The penetrating power of gamma rays is high and can be stopped by a centimeter of lead or a meter of concrete. How exactly is iodine-123 used in medicine? Iodine-123 is used to diagnose thyroid cancer, such as hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. A doctor will organize a blood test to check thyroid levels, and if they are too high or too low, then they will undergo a thyroid scan using iodine-123. The patient ingests a small dose of iodine-123 in a capsule form, and this then enters the bloodstream. The person waits six to eight hours until imaging starts. The iodine-123 is accumulated in the thyroid gland and any sites that are being examined, and this is where the iodine-123 emits small amounts of gamma radiation. Six to 24 hours later, a gamma camera detects the gamma radiation released by the decaying of the iodine in the thyroid gland and uses the radiation to create pictures of the thyroid gland for examination. The gamma camera creates pictures offering details on both the structure and the function of the thyroid to see if there's any trace of thyroid cancer. The dark areas are where the iodine-123 is most absorbed. If there is any sign of thyroid diseases, they may undergo a treatment of iodine-131. What are the benefits of using iodine-123? Number one, doesn't create any waste problems, so it's better for the environment. Number two, has a short half-life of 13.2 hours, therefore small radiation used. And number three, less harm to thyroid cells and tissue. Number four, use the research about diseases such as schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. And number five, convenient for patients. However, there are also problems. Number one, small dosage of iodine, which is sensitive at detecting the thyroid tissue. Number two, breastfeeding woman or pregnant woman cannot receive this diagnosis. Number three, high reactions occur such as nausea, chest pain, vomiting, and itchy skin. Overall, the benefits outweigh the problems as iodine-123 has been used effectively in medicine to detect thyroid cancer. Iodine-123 has made thyroid detection easier to carry out as there aren't as many problems associated with it.